Sonia, hi guys. So today we are taking a look at the latest animated feature from DC. We are. Hmm. SOB. Excuse me? With the son of Batman. I see what you did there. I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Son of Batman is an upcoming director video animated film part of the DC Universe animated original movies. It's an adaptation of Grant Morrison and Andy Kubert's 2006 Batman and Son storyline. For those unfamiliar with the story, Batman learns that he has a violent, unruly preteen son with Talia al Ghul, named Damian Wayne, who has secretly been raised by Raish al Ghul and the League of Assassins. When Raish al Ghul apparently dies after a battle with his former right-hand man, Deathstroke, Batman must work to stop his long-lost son from taking revenge and guide him to a righteous path in order for the pair to truly acknowledge each other as family. Now this film follows on from Justice League War as part of that continuity. Yeah, by using Jason O'Mara again as Batman. Yeah, and David McCallum as Alfred. Mm -hmm. Actually, all the voice work in this, especially from the principals, is pretty solid. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. Jason does a great Batman. <laughs> yeah. I thought that uh, Thomas Gibson, though, was a little bit light for Deathstroke. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Oh, did you like the story, though? On the whole, yes. I was especially interested in Damien's journey to becoming the new Robin, and that was a really great character journey there. And the exploration of the relationship between him and Bats seemed authentic. But that part, that relationship could have done with even more focus. I thought that the threat was integrated quite well, you know, into the, the world and, and against the characters, but it was a little underwhelming. I didn't feel like any of the characters were really in any great danger. Yeah, right. I thought the threat that Deathstroke posed to both Talia and Dr. Langstrom was compelling and well executed. I agree with you about the relationship between Damien and Batman. I hope that they kind of explore that tension a bit more in the future. Yeah, me too. Did you like the action? Oh, for the most part, yeah. I'm especially liking how comfortable DC are with showing violence and death, and it's not glorified either. I particularly liked the action involving Damien though, overall. Because he has a height disadvantage and his youth, it just made for a greater dynamic in the choreography. Yeah, but on the flip side, Talia didn't seem to prove to be much of an opponent, and I was miffed that we didn't get to see a particular fight between two major characters until the credits rolled. Yeah, cool idea to show what happened in that moment post-film, yeah. but I thought they could have just culled other information in the film and kept that bit of action <laughs> in there, that's what I would have preferred. Yeah. Animation-wise, it's another impressive effort. DC understand this arena very well. Their animated films of late include a variety of wow moments, which is another pleasure to look forward to. The background and landscape details maintain a high level of attention too. And the character design is really solid. Mm. Did you agree? Oh yeah, I did. Batman and Damien as Robin looked excellent. Killer Croc was a beast, Talia was hot, and Old Man Raish looked much better than previous animated versions. The film is decent, but is it great? No, it's not. It's a little bit clunky at times and it has some pacing issues. I just thought they were trying to stuff a lot of major characters in what was essentially a coming of age story or, or slash, you know, family reunion story. And it had all the elements to be quite an outstanding animated yeah. movie, but it just fell short, I thought. Yeah, so I'm only going to give it a borrow. Yeah, I think a lot of the comic readers will be happy with this. They'll mm -hmm. be quite satisfied. It's yep. tied nicely to the story. Look, I do understand what you're saying about the relationships, but if they focus too much on that, then there's not enough enough action and that's really Fair where enough. these films I think shine. Yeah. Look, it's not the greatest one that I've seen. In my book, Under the Red Hood is still going to be my favourite, so I'm going to give this one a borrow as well. Alright, that's SOB. Why say it again? Because that's what we reviewed, SOB. It's not fun or clever. You know, son of a bat.